Hello, my name is Gauri. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you enjoy the video. Please show support by subscribing. Thank you. I'm actually uh, feeding a baby alpaca. Wow! <laughs> uh, you know, what a joy that was. You see me here trying to coax the little uh, baby llama and the baby alpaca to say, stay for the picture. And you can see the uh, baby alpaca is trying to, uh, you know, run away from me. This is the uh, Church of Santa Isabel of Pukhara, uh, adjacent to the museum. This is a uh, temple of Viracocha uh, in Rakchi, the land of the Incas, uh, found on the way to Cusco. Uh, stone work, how it was created uh, with the stone by just by polishing it and fitting it without any modern adhesive uh, material. Uh, not even a small plant or grass could uh, grow in the cracks of these stones that's how fine uh, you know the lines are and how beautifully circular uh, the uh, structures could be polished and shaped uh, it's just amazing uh, another example of amazing architecture of the Incans this is uh, one of the oldest church built in uh, Peru uh, during the colonial times and it's built right by the temple of Viracocha uh, in Rakchi. Usually what the Spanish would do is they would find wherever it's very important for the Incas they will raise it down and then they will build a temple uh, uh, a Christian church there. This is a Saxe woman uh, in Cusco uh, on the outskirts. Uh, another gorgeous example of the uh, Incan uh, architecture uh, how they survived their major earthquakes that uh, they had to go through in, uh, in the 1746 uh, it still um, survived and uh, and stands as proof this is more of a close-up picture of the uh, stone structures in Saxe Woman this part of Saxe Woman uh, is still being dug up uh, by the archaeologists as we speak uh, for further uh, uh, discoveries that they hope to make. Here's a lady dressed in traditional costume uh, posing for the tourists. This picture of Pizak was taken uh, before descending uh, to the town itself where we'll be visiting a, an extremely colorful market. And this is where uh, I got uh, some of the stones f to help me in meditation. These ladies were entertaining the tourists with some local songs, traditional songs, uh, in Pizak. This is a trail we climbed up for uh, about two hours or so to get to before we actually descended to the uh, downtown marketplace in Pizak. Uh, beautiful architectural uh, examples again of the Incans. We are now descending for a close-up look of the uh, Incan architectural splendors on the Pizak Mountains. In front of us, we see the Temple of the Sun, a very important god to the Incans. This incredibly colorful scene is the marketplace in Pizak. Another colorful scene of Pizak marketplace. This is an example of a clay oven found in Pizak marketplace. On our free day off in Cusco, we did a lot of uh, touring around on the outskirts of Cusco. Um, uh, we came into this cave here where we see this uh, bench-like structure which was 
uh, used either for human sacrifice purposes or to dress dead bodies prior to mummifying. This is another example of a street in Cusco. Uh, like I said, it either goes up or goes down. Good for um, exercising, for sure. This is another local scene in Cusco uh, while uh, discovering by foot. In this picture we see corn being dried uh, by laying out directly under the sun. Uh, while walking in Cusco I uh, came across this ancient doorway uh, that's uh, apparently built by the Incans in Cusco city. Incans carve various animals on the walls to ward off evil and to bring good luck like the snakes we see here. This was found in a church um, in Cusco. This beautiful fountain we see is uh, part of the downtown Cusco. This historical colonial church uh, is part of the downtown core Cusco. This is a picture of a local baby in Cusco. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.